ladies, welcome back to my channel. I am QBC143, but you can also call me Caress. Y'all, we about to talk about this master cleanse. And I'm going to just tell y'all, <laughs> the master cleanse, y'all, is no joke. And it is not for the weak at heart. So, <laughs> I'm going to just let y'all know that right now, you have to have serious willpower to do the master cleanse. So, first things first. You may be wondering, if, you, if you're not familiar with it, what is the Master Cleanse? Well, the Master Cleanse is a 21-day detox, and uh, it's a lemonade detox. So, you take some uh, fresh-squeezed lemon juice, some uh, maple syrup, some cayenne pepper, and distilled water, and you mix that up into some lemonade concoction. Technically, it's not lemonade, but they also refer to it as the lemonade uh, detox or lemonade cleanse. I will have the exact measurements, the exact ingredients for the lemonade down in the description box. So make sure you check there because I don't feel like looking it up right now. So yeah, like with any detox, the whole purpose is to cleanse your body. Get rid of all of those toxins, all of that crap you've been putting in your body. If you're a smoker, if you're a drinker, if you just eat like crap like I, I did, then it's to cleanse your body of all of that. And I will tell you, that's the first mistake that I made. When I initially went into the Master Cleanse, my main purpose was to lose a whole bunch of weight really, really fast. That's not really the reason why you should do the Master Cleanse. Now, once I got into it a little more, I, I started to realize, okay, this is benefiting me in lots of other ways than just losing a bunch of weight. It is absolutely no point in you doing the Master Cleanse if you know that as soon as you finish, you're gonna go right back to eating like crap. <laughs> the point of the master cleanse, or the point of, I guess, really any detox is, is, it's the start to a healthier lifestyle. So you wanna get rid of all of that crap that you put in your body with the intentions on having a much healthier future from here on out. So that is the purpose of the cleanse, ladies. Please know that. Because if you go into it thinking, oh, well, I just want to, I just want to lose 10, 15, 20 pounds real quick, like, and that's all, honey, when you finish it and you go right back to your regular diet, honey, them 10, 15, 20 pounds don't come back tenfold, I promise you. So, like I said, it is a 21-day detox. And what does that mean? Well, you drink the lemonade concoction. You can also drink water. You can drink as much water as you want. And that's it. No food. None. Nothing. No chewing gum. No peppermints. Not even a freaking grain of rice. You cannot eat anything while you are doing the 21 day master clean. Matter of fact, you can't even put one of, you know those little breath strips that you can put on your tongue to dissolve? You can't even do that, honey. Nothing. So if you think, oh, well, you know, I'll get around it. I'll just chew gum and, and I'll, I'll, I'll chew sugar-free gum. No, not even sugar-free gum. Not even flavorless gum. Honey, only thing you can eat during the master cleanse is air. So if you want to go ahead and scoop, get your little scoop of air and... And chew on that for a little bit, you know, you can. And we're gonna put a little bit of air in there. I think I didn't have enough air. Put a little teaspoon of air in there. Put some air in there. Not too much air. Now, ice. I just thought of ice. I'm not sure about ice. Maybe if as long as it's distilled water, because um, they specifically say uh, for the, the, the water you drink while you're doing the cleanse and the water that you make the lemonade concoction with, it needs to be distilled. So no tap water, no, no flavored waters, none of that. So I guess maybe you could freeze some of that up and eat that. 
So yeah, no food. Um, as far as the lemonade concoction, you are supposed to drink at least six glasses a day. But they say the more you drink, the better. So the more you can get in, the better, you know, the better uh, outcome you're going to have. Me, I stuck to six glasses every day. I did six glasses every day. I had a schedule. I can't remember my exact schedule that I had, but I had a schedule mapped out. I think it was like every three hours or so that I would have a glass. And then at nighttime, so this is the, the only other thing you can have in addition to water and the lemonade. You can also have, well, you're supposed to drink Smooth Move every night before bed. And if you don't know what Smooth Move is, I didn't know what Smooth Move was. Um, it's a detox tea. No, not, not a detox tea, but a, um, a laxative, a natural herbal laxative tea that is possibly the most disgusting thing I have ever tasted and smelled in my life. <coughs> you asked me what was the absolute worst part of doing the cleanse, it was absolutely that doggone tea. I did not drink it every single night. They say that you're supposed to drink it every single night before bed i did not because one i could not take the taste or the smell and then um i started noticing that it really wasn't working every time i was drinking it because i guess by that point i was kind of cleaned out pretty well so i was pretty much drinking it like every other night um there were times where i would drink it two nights in a row but honey mm, the suffrage chap I did the cleanse probably at the worst possible time that I could have done it. I did it dead in the middle of summer. Y'all, I don't know why I decided, hey, I want to go, I want to start living a healthier lifestyle right in the dead of summer. Not not before summer to get my summer body ready. No, I'm going to just wait till summer gets here, you know what I'm saying? And then I'm going to get on this health kick. No, but really, part of the reason why I did start my whole healthy journey um, in the summer is because, I don't know about y'all, but me, I live in a really, really hot climate, and I do not like eating a lot of hot, hearty meals in the summertime. Like, it's too hot for that. Like, I'm hot. I'm burning up. Don't sit no hot plate in front of me. Like, I can't. Give me a cool salad. Or a, a nice cool sub sandwich. No, I don't want it toasted. Uh-uh. I'm toasted enough. I'm burning up. So that's part of the reason. Because I normally eat a lot less of that, you know, really, you know, those soulful hot meals during the summer. And I do eat a lot more salads. And, but as far as the master cleanse, as far as doing a detox, that was probably the worst time that I could have done it because... I mean, you're not taking, you are taking in nutrients. That, that lemonade concoction gives you the necessary nutrients that you need. But other than that, honey, like, <laughs> you're, you're, you know, you really don't have much energy. You can start to feel faint a lot easier, especially if you're out in the heat. Um, me, I was out in the heat because I had no choice. I was working and I had, you know, things that I was, doing during the summer to try and enjoy my summer and uh there was one particular time me and my daughter and some of my cousins we went to a festival and i got real i started to feel really sick and i really thought i was gonna pass out and um my auntie had to come and pick me up because we had walked to the festival she had to come pick me up it was just bad it was it was not good that I did it during the summer. Um, another thing, you cannot go to the gym while you're doing the cleanse. At the most, you can maybe lift some weights, Not nothing strenuous. You can go walking. I did still go walking, but I walked at a very slow pace. Um, not like I speed walk now, but I just walk really slow because you can't overexert yourself or you will hit the flow, okay? also cannot take vitamins while you are doing the cleanse it's out it's a no that is considered 
kind of defeating the purpose. You are not supposed to take in any additional nutrients into your body other than that lemonade concoction. And that's just what it is. So, so some of the major benefits that I saw while doing the cleanse. One, of course, there was some weight loss. But I'm going to wait until the end of the video to let you know exactly how much weight I lost while doing the cleanse. And how many days I lasted. Did I last the full 21 days? Maybe. But wait till the end of the video for that. Um, so yeah, weight loss, of course. My skin was so clear, so radiant. Everywhere I went, people were telling me that I had a glow about me. And I was like, oh, thank you. I'm doing a cleanse, you know. Yeah, I'm doing a cleanse. It's a cleanse that um, like Beyonce did before she had went on the tour. Yeah, you know. Which, by the way, it is rumored, I don't, I'm not sure if it's true, but it is rumored that Beyonce did do this cleanse before. I wouldn't put it past her because y'all know, Beyonce mean business. When it's time to get on that stage, she means business. She got to drop the weight. But anyway, so yeah, my skin was really clear. Um, my urine, y'all know, I talked about it in my weight loss video, that sodas, I drank so many sodas every single day, all day. So going from that to drinking nothing but water and the lemonade stuff, like my urine was completely, like when I say clear, I would finish using the bathroom and get up and it would look like I didn't even use it. And that's how clear your urine should be. Um, zero odor. Like, and if you are an avid soda drinker like I am, then you know Nine times out of ten, your urine is not odorless. Bowel movements, the same with bowel movements. Y'all, we getting, we getting a little, but we're adults. We're adults, so we can talk about this stuff. Um, my bowel movements, same thing. Odorless, like, odorless. And I guess, like, for someone who's who lives a really, really healthy lifestyle, I'm pretty sure vegans, I'm pretty sure vegans, they poo-poo. They I bet they poo-poo don't stink. Because my poo poo was not stinking um, while I was doing that cleanse. And now that I live a much healthier lifestyle, it still really don't stink that bad. Mm -mm, it don't. Now, let, let's, get, let's get to the nitty gritty. Okay, so I will say the first 10 to 11 days, hey, I was good. I was motivated. I was excited. I was drinking my lemonade. I had my schedule. I had my phone set, the alarm set to go off. And it's time to drink my little lemonade. You know what I'm saying? I was doing pretty good. Now, <clears throat> about day 12, maybe, day 13, something like that, it, um, it got a little rough. It, it got a little rough. Um, whew. It got to the point where I would fix my daughter dinner and I would fix her plate and then I would sit down at the dinner table with her and um, I would watch her eat. Not only that, but like I would like, I would be like, ooh, get like, like get some of the macaroni, like take a bite of the macaroni. And, like, I would, like, direct her and be like, no, like, chew slower and, like, swallow loudly. I'm serious. I, as embarrassing and as ridiculous as that sounds, that's really what it came to. Like, I was, I had to watch her eat. Like, it was getting really rough. I also started watching mukbangs. Before I started that cleanse, y'all, I never watched a mukbang in my life. And any of my favorite YouTubers, anytime they would upload a mukbang, those would be the videos that I just wouldn't watch. So I'm like, I'm not here for this. I want to hear about a true crime story or I want to see you do your makeup. I don't care nothing about you eating no food. Y'all, when I got on that cleanse, I would literally sit there all day long and watch people gorge out on food. Just torturing myself. Just just the, the 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 sheer torture 
I put myself through is honestly insane. It, it, it really was. It was bad. But I kept on pushing. I kept on trucking through. Now, whoo! Oh, but mm, the last three days, oh, child, the only way I can describe it is very similar to how a crackhead is when they need a fix. You know, like you, you start to itching and, and you, you start to pace in the room. I busted out in tears one night. I just, I couldn't help it. I just. In my mind, it was my mind was telling me, girl, get something to eat, girl, put some food in your mouth. But then the other side of my mind was saying, no, girl, stick to it. You almost there. You can do it. Don't give up, girl. You can do it. And it was it was literally like a battle in my like a war going on in my mind. I really felt like I was going crazy. I I was I was going crazy. <sighs> Come day eighteen, really bad. And by that night, I broke down in tears again. This was maybe, this was after 8 o'clock because I had already drank my last glass of lemonade. Which, by the way, as the days keep on going by, you're going to get real tired of that lemonade. You are going to get so tired of drinking that lemonade, it, it don't make no sense. Like, it got to the point, I would look at it. I would want to take that lemonade and chunk it across the street because that's swear for God I did not want to drink no more of that lemonade. <laughs> but day 18, I had my last glass of the lemonade. And y'all, I finally broke. I just, I couldn't do it. I could not do it anymore. I was, I was seriously, I was down bad for real. I was, I was down bad, y'all. I was so distraught so i did end up eating now when you come off of the cleanse another important thing you must know is you cannot just say all right it's the last day of the cleanse i'm gonna go get me some um i'm gonna eat me some broccoli and i'm gonna eat me some this and some that and some that regardless of if it's healthy or not you you can't just jump out the window like that. You got to ease back into it. You got to start real small. Maybe a, a really small salad. Um, something very light. Maybe it's a little bit of fruit. But you cannot just jump in with a whole, with a whole full meal. You, you better not die. You're going to be on that toilet. <laughs> so the night that I broke, which was day 18, I ended up having some um what was it some black beans and i know some of y'all probably like oh black beans but y'all it was the healthiest thing i had at the time because since i wasn't eating i had not done any healthy grocery shopping for myself because i was waiting to finish the cleanse then i was gonna go out get all my organic fruits and vegetables and all of that good stuff but I didn't make it to 21 days, so all I had was some black beans, so I fixed those. I ate a very, very small bowl of that, and I broke the cleanse. And to this day, y'all, I'm so, I'm just so disappointed in myself. I really wanted to make it the whole 21 days, but I mean, I just, I, I don't want to say I couldn't, because I believe I could have. Had I not, um, you know, let my head get the best of me. I, I really felt like I could have done it. And that's what sucks the most. Um, but 18 days is still good. I mean, shoot. You can't, I mean, you can't tell me nothing. 20, eight, 18 days. Like, who's going to step to me? When I tell them, as soon as I tell them, yeah, well, you know, I went 18 days without eating before. Just by choice. Honey, they're going to shut their mouth and they're going to sit down. They're going to be like, whoa, this girl here is, a, ooh, she's a savage. So, yeah, uh, I made it, I made it 18 days. I am very proud of myself. Still disappointed, but I am very proud of myself for doing it. And, I mean, it paid off so much. 
So, you want to know how much weight I lost, don't you? Because some of you, that's the only reason you clicked on this video. You want to know, I bet you it's a couple brides watching this right now because you're just trying to get in your wedding dress in a couple months. That's all you worried about. Well, you guys, at the end of the 18-day cleanse, I lost a whopping five pounds. Five measly little pounds. And that was a whole lot of suffering I went through to lose five pounds. But, as I stated in the beginning of the video, it is not so much the weight loss. It's, it's the preparing your body for a healthier future. And when I finished that cleanse, I felt so good. I felt so healthy. So much energy, energy to get up early every morning and go do my walk-in, um, energy to stay motivated each day. Uh, I'm, I'm very happy that I did it. Would I ever do it again? I don't know about all that. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe. Now, if you do your research and you look up other people's stories, um, their journeys while doing the Master Cleanse, you'll see there are varying results. There are some people who lose as much as 20, 30 pounds. Some, like me, only lose about 5 pounds. Some, you know, like, it, it varies. So, um, you know, do your own research on this cleanse and um, do a lot of, pre you gotta prepare yourself. You gotta get your mind right. You really, you gotta get too chop. That's pretty much it, but before I leave y'all, I want to, again, encourage you, um, if you are trying to start a healthier lifestyle, you can do it. You absolutely can do it. My auntie, she did the cleanse herself. She's done it a couple times, she said, and um, once she lasted the full 21 days, and but yeah, just have a really strong support system um you know because you're gonna need it that's for sure but ladies that is it that is everything on the 21 day master cleanse i really hope this video was helpful if you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel do not forget to hit the notification bell so you're notified when i upload new videos check the description box i will have the exact ingredients to the, uh, the the lemonade concoction as well as I'll go ahead and put a link down in the, in the description box that talks all about the master cleanse and explains what it is, what its purpose is, all of that. So you're not just taking my word for it. I am not a nutritionist and I am not a dietitian and I don't, I don't pretend to be one. So yeah, I'll have all that information down in the description box. And until next time, ladies, have a blessed day. Bye.